All right, welcome back to my tutorial series for Easy FPS Editor. And today I will show you how you can add enemies to your game. All right. Let's go to Entities Settings, Enemy Settings. And now let's create a new enemy. For this you have to type in the enemy name in this box, click the green, uh, yeah, <laughs> the green box, okay this should be fine and now let's import our sprites. <laughs> So this is really funny because I draw a Pokemon actually. <laughs> it's Electrode from Pokemon. <laughs> it just goes to show that you can have literally anything in your game. <laughs> Which is really really fun. Okay so his idle animation and moving animation will be the same. When he attacks he will spark some Electro... Uh, Thingies. I have created three images for this. Okay. There won't be any blood or anything else for the moment. His health is a bit high, so let's change it to five. And we need to set the scale also. Let's have it at 0.2 Okay, so we have our first enemy. Yes. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be awesome. <laughs> oh, this is so dumb. So, uh yeah, he's not really threatening at the moment. <laughs> but it sure is funny. Oh my goodness. I'm beating an electrode with a screwdriver. And now he's gone. <laughs> this is the corpse, basically. Okay, let's fight the other one. I don't know why he didn't do any damage. Maybe I need to adjust some values here come on damage me <laughs> like uh, in the death animation you can add some gore also you can really make gory games with this engine Not as exaggerated like Brutal Doom maybe, but uh, you can go pretty far with this. Okay, so <laughs> that's our poor guy. I just want to see why he doesn't make damage. Ah, oh, damage, because I set it to zero. Yeah, of course. Okay, so player health is 100 and he does 25 damage now. And he drops nothing. Let's change that. Let's make it so that he drops uh, one apple. You can also have uh, enemies that shoot projectiles. You can set this here. And of course you can also import enemy sounds also. Okay. This is good to go. Let's test it again. Yes, yes, yes. Now he's taking, uh, he's dealing quite the damage. You can also add sounds to your pickups. And now, yes, he, he dropped the apple and we are good to go. As I said in the earlier videos, this engine has like major potential. You can create anything with it and it's really really cool and let's fight the other one
Okay. <laughs> and for the second part of this video, I will show you how can uh, how you can add um, decoration objects. For this, to you go to Entities Settings, Decoration Settings. And this took me a while to figure out. I actually had to ask another easy FPS uh, user. So um, let's type in crappy chair and hit the green box. And now we import a sprite. So I, I made this really, really crappy chair in paint. <laughs> And this is the idle animation, and you can also set it so that the um, decoration items are breakable. And you can also add a sound to it. But for this test, I will just leave it with the idle animation and set it to non-breakable, which is the default setting. And we need to set the scale again. Yeah, no, uh, 0.4 should be fine. And let's add another one, decoration settings, crappy shelf, which is also something I made in paint really, really quick for this tutorial. Look at this amazing object. <laughs> it's like a two year old who painted it. Awesome, right? Okay. You can also change the lighting on these models. And let's just uh, randomly place some decoration here and there. Like some chairs and a few shelves. And then let's take a look. Okay. So as you can see, these are 2D and they rotate with the player. Just like with the weapons or the um, enemies, you can add anything. There's really no limits to this. Of course, this doesn't fit into the level at all, but it's just for testing purposes. I just want to show you what you can do with this engine. Let's fight the next electrode. <laughs> this, chair is, this chair is actually a bit high, so should reduce the scale a bit, but the shelf is quite okay, th I think. What is also cool is the fact that uh, the corpses stay. Like you can have a dozens of them uh, lying on the ground. Okay. So I think that this video comes to an end. I hope it was useful. And if you got questions, of course, you can ask me in the comments. Um, I am no way a pro in this engine. I just learned about it yesterday also. But I didn't saw any, I didn't see any uh, tutorial videos on YouTube. So I decided to make one and I hope this will be useful to others as well. Okay. So, see you next time. Bye-bye.